Uh, foreign missions in Nairobi have now given the IEBC at least 18 recommendations on how to improve the counting and tallying of votes in the October 17th repeat presidential election. The envoys from the European Union and the United States gave their submissions to the IEBC as the NASA coalition insisted on wide-ranging changes at the electoral body. Our senior political affairs reporter Duncan Heimba has more. <laughs> In what was supposed to have been a closed-door meeting with IEBC, the heads of Meet Mission organized a lunch date with all the seven IEBC commissioners, specifically to give them a raft of proposals they say IEBC must implement before next month's fresh presidential election if the process of counting and transmitting the results is to get better. Key proposals laid on the table by the envoys include IBC developing a more detailed and transparent procedures for the counting, tallying and results transmission processes, which include scanning and the complementary mechanisms to be used in case of technology failure. The heads of mission also wants the commission to improve results transmission software and network selection provision so that Forms 34A are reliably sent through the Kim's kits. This follows concerns that in the August polls, over 10,000 Form 34As could not be transmitted from polling stations in what IBC said were reasons of network coverage and configuration of results transmission software. Another proposal is that the Chebukati-led team makes arrangements for constituency tallying centers to project and display the real-time entry of data onto Form 34Bs by ICT clerks so that all agents and observers can clearly see what is being tallied. The envoys further want IABC to standardize constituency results Form 34B, complete with security features. IABC to own and be fully responsible for critical ICT result systems and information, and most importantly, to allow controlled stakeholder access, among other proposals. Recommendations NASA has welcomed. We wish to note that the EU Observer Mission has since revised its observations and made recommendations that are not dissimilar to what we have suggested to IBC as a reducible minimum. The opposition alliance also wants the media to be allowed to transmit results as they are announced by constituency returning officers. That we shall not allow IBC to conduct another sham election for which it is ask, asking the Kenyan taxpayer to underwrite to the tune of 12 billion shillings. We hereby reiterate that there will be no elections on October 17th. IBC must fulfill the conditions necessary for the fresh election as ordered by the court. These developments coming only a few hours after a scheduled meeting between NASA and IABC once again failed to take place for the third time. I anticipate to have a meeting with the NASA and eventually with the, both NASA and Jubilee in the course of next week. So I, I think I'm very positive that these discussions will take place and that we narrow down the areas where there's any, any form of uh, demand or a misunderstanding. NASA does not intend to hold any casual meetings with the IBC as currently constituted or under the ad hoc smoke screen in which it operates currently. <clears throat> we have made the considered decision that henceforth we will engage the Commission through an open structured national stakeholder dialogue in which binding resolutions will be made and shared with the public. No more boardroom meetings with IBC. NASA has therefore today delivered to IBC a letter of preconditions necessary for a free, fair, credible and accountable election. Despite the never-ending back and forth between the Commission and the two protagonists, NASA and Jubilee, the chair says they will surmount the challenge. And for the sake of the country, we shall come up with solutions to any issues that may be a roadblock towards holding the elections on 17th of October. We have made the considered decision that henceforth we will engage the Commission through an open, structured national stakeholder dialogue 
in which binding resolutions will be made and shared with the public. With the NASA and Jubilee lists of demands already before them, and now a fresh 18-point recommendation from heads of missions who partly but heavily fund the operations, IBC has their work clearly cut out. Duncan Hemba, KTN News, Nairobi.